Getty Jean-Claude Juncker has been accused of failing to properly scrutinize José Manuel Barroso, former European Commission President Mr. Barroso has denied he lobbied his former colleagues for his new employer Goldman Sachs. Following the publication of a report from the European Ombudsman, an independent association investigating into EU institutions, he wrote on Twitter, I have not and will not lobby EU officials. The papers claim that his successor at the Commission, Mr. Juncker, had failed to scrutinize whether the Portuguese's new job undermined the trust the public has in the European Union. Mr. Barroso joined U.S. Bank Goldman Sachs in July the 2016, less than two years after leaving his role in Brussels. His decision sparked the fury of Mr. Juncker who, although said he could not obstruct his decision, criticized Mr. Barroso for taking a job with a major bank after the financial crisis. I have not and will not lobby EU officials Manuel Barroso Mr. Barroso said Ombudsman Emily O'Reilly made no legal assessment of his duties for the American bank and also stated he did not oppose her call for a new review by the Commission's Ethics Committee which, in 2016, found no reason to object to his new nominee. The former Portuguese Prime Minister accused Mose O'Reilly of mounting a thinly veiled ad personum political attack against him. Mose O'Reilly replied dismissing Mr. Barroso's account that his meeting in October with Jiki Katainen was a private matter because Mr. Katainen registered it in the EU public lobbying record as a meeting with Goldman Sachs. Mr. Katainen was at the time Mr. Barroso's former member of the Commission, whereas today is the vice president under Mr. Juncker. The scandal is hitting Brussels while Mr. Juncker is being urged to explain his decision to give a promotion to his chief of staff Martin Selmayr. Getty M. R. Juncker is being urged to explain the decision to give a promotion to his chief of staff last month. Mr. Juncker took everybody by surprise by appointing Mr. Selmayr to the EU Commission's secretary general role. The decision has sparked corruption claims as nobody else has been interviewed for the job, and was criticized by lawmakers from across the political spectrum, including Juckers. Conservatives. The affair has grown so much in proportion that it has become known in the EU capital. As Selmer Gate, Guy Verhofstadt, the European Parliament's Brexit representative, described the move as a misstep that was damaging for Europe as a whole, the EU insists due process was followed when promoting Mr. Selmayr.